Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about is selected method that you have in Selenium. And this video is going to be my 17th video on my playlist Selenium. So let's get started. Guys, if you remember uh, my find element video, if you remember my find elements video, if you remember my is enabled video is displayed video i told you these are predefined methods for your web element these are abstract methods like find element find elements is enabled is displayed just like that just like that you have one more method that is predefined and that method is called as is selected method in selenium guys remember i told you that the return type of your find element is a web element and i also told you the return type of your find elements is the list of web elements and i also told you when i spoke about is enabled and is displayed then the return type of these two methods is a boolean value that is true or false just like that we have this method which is which is now called as is selected the return type of this method is also boolean it will return either true or false as the name suggests as the name suggests is selected it will really tell us whether the element is really selected or not so i'm going to talk in the further video of this that how you can implement this is selected method in your automation project so now i'm teaching you how to implement that and later when i talk about the actual project i will implement all these things that i'm talking today into the our automation project that I will be uploading in maybe in the upcoming days. As the name suggests, is selected will tell you whether the element on the web page is really selected or not selected. If you use is selected, if it is returning true, that means the element is selected. If it is returning false, then, then the meaning is the element is not selected. Very simple. Now the question arises where and all you will check whether the element is really selected or not. Will you test it in the checkbox? Yes. In the checkbox, you have the option of whether to select it or unselect it, right? So there you can use this method that I'm talking is selected. You can check on the checkbox. You can select on the radio buttons because in radio buttons, you have a list of options, right? Whether to really select it or not. Whether you are a male or female, you need to select one. Just giving you an example. Now the question arises whether you can use this method on text box or not. No, you cannot. So in, in your text box, let's say they're asking you to enter your name. Now in this name, that's nothing which is called as whether this particular element is selected or not, right? I mean, you cannot select one particular component, which is a text box, but you can select a component, which is your checkbox or which is your radio buttons. So now let's go ahead to execute this program practically and understand how to really use this particular method in your actual automation project. So let's get started. So now let's create a class. Now let's create a class, new class. And now let's give the name of the classes is selected. And with the main method as public static void main. The moment you create it, now I'm writing how to launch your Chrome driver. Now, if you remember, I have said you that I have developed my own HTML web page, which is this. So I will try to launch this in my in my browser. So that URL I need to type it here. Once this is done, then I will find element. I will try to inspect this particular element. I will try to inspect this particular element and see like it is made up of ID called as one, two, three, let's say. So I will try to inspect this using a locator which is called as ID. And let's say the ID name, which is one, two, three. And I will mark it as, as it is. And you know what is the return type of your find element, right? It is web element. If you remember my find element video, I have said that. Now let's say find element. And let's say 
I'm writing first as this one. The reason I've written first because I'm checking my first checkbox whether it is really selected or not. Once I'm done with that, what I will do is I will write first dot is selected or not. I'm checking whether the first checkbox that I have is really selected or not. The return type of your is selected is a boolean value that is true or false. Let's say I'm storing it in my A. And now let's say what I'm trying to do here is I will try to print the value of it. That is system dot out dot print ln and maybe the, the value of E that is boolean. So what I'm trying to do here is very simple. I'm trying to launch my Chrome browser. How I'm doing that, I have spoke about this in my multiple videos. Go. I'm assuming that you have come here by watching my Selenium playlist from starting. If you directly jump into this video, there are chances that you will not get what I'm trying to teach you. So I will still suggest you that please watch my all the playlist Selenium throughout all the videos that are there in my Selenium playlist and then please come to this video. So in the three first two steps, I am launching my Chrome driver and in the next step, I am launching my HTML file, the file which I have developed it using my, my own HTML skill. And after that, I am inspecting my checkbox, the first checkbox now. now. Now I know that whenever I will be launching it, it is never selected. It is never selected. And when it is never selected, it will always going to return me a false value. I know this, but I'm writing this program for you. So now what I'm trying to do here is I know the return type of our find element is always the web element and I'm storing that value in my first. Now using first, I'm making sure whether it is, it is really selected or not. I'm checking that whether the checkbox is really selected or not. If it is selected, it is going to return me a true value in the A because there where I'm storing my Boolean value, whether true or false, but I know the element is not at all selected. In that case, it is going to return me a false value. And then I'm printing, printing the value of A just to make sure whether it is really selecting me false or not. So just check, check, check that whether it is really selecting me a false value or not. So it has launched it, launched it. And now you need to go to your console. You need, you, you just need to see whether it is really uh, throwing your true or false value. So you got to know it is returning you false value. Why? Because your element is not selected. Now let's say that what I will try to do here is, what I will try to do here is, I will take my first element, which is nothing but, which is nothing but my component number one. And then I will try to click on it, something. Maybe click, now click will do, it will make it selected, right? If I'm not wrong, if you guys are getting what I'm talking, using click function or click method, I am clicking on that particular component, which is my is selected. And now what I'm doing after that, after this, I'm storing it. After doing this, I am writing first, just same this line. I'm just marking the same line. Now, after clicking on that particular element, I am clicking on it and I'm just checking whether it is, it is really selected or not. And now let's say that the I'm storing it in my Boolean value B and I'm just clicking on that. So what I'm trying to do here is you saw what I did until here. You already saw that. After that, I'm clicking on the checkbox, which, which is the checkbox this checkbox, this checkbox I'm talking, I'm clicking on click button on that. And after that, I am checking whether it, it is really selected or not. And I'm storing the value of that is selected on my B. Now what is B? It's a Boolean value which will store either true or false. I'm just printing it. So if I run that, it will should return me a true value this time. So the first value that I'm trying to print is my false value, which you already saw here. And the second one that I'm trying to print should return true because I have made it to click, right? So just see that whether it is really giving me a correct output or not. So it is launching a Chrome browser and it has, it has clicked on that. If you see this, it has clicked on that. I didn't do that. It has done itself. I mean, uh, uh, once it has done that, I can see here first it has returned the false value. Then it has returned the true value. Now you must be thinking that where I can you actually use this program in my uh, ongoing automation project, right? 
see now you guys have understood that uh, what is the importance of your is selected and you can implement the same thing in your lot of other components as well as i told you whether wherever you feel that i can select something and i can check it out now you know that right whenever you are trying to fill a form it is important for you to fill the checkbox like which all options you want to select out of the multiple codes that are provided by the company let's say you are trying to fill out some form and in that you will be you will be having multiple checkbox options so you will select something you will deselect something right so to check that before submitting the form you can verify whether really you have selected or not so you can verify that using your is selected method let's say you have lot of radio buttons just to make sure that which radio button is really selected before submitting the form you can verify whether it is really selected or not using is select method so at last to conclude this i want to say that whenever you are filling out any kind of form before submitting on or before clicking on the submit button you can verify whether the check box or radio buttons that you have selected is really selected or not if it is really selected you will go ahead to click on the submit button if it is not selected you will not do it and let's say that uh, you are working in some organization where uh, you are working in some particular application and you have lot of components let's say uh, i'm talking about the radio buttons and check box and in that you want to check whether if i'm clicking on one check box you you would have seen guys that there are lot of check box in lot of applications out there now in some check box if you just select it once now there is no option to deselect it until and unless you will refresh the page or you will come to that page again i hope you guys have seen that uh, if you select one check box once now you there is no option to deselect that and there are a lot of applications out there in which you can select the particular check box and then you can deselect also you want to make sure that you are doing the component testing thoroughly you are writing automation script for your component testing just to make sure that the your testing your both positive testing as well as negative testing on your particular component how will you do that so you will do that by making sure you are using is selected and then you are unselecting that and you are making sure now it is it is really selected or not so i hope this video was useful in case yes please give a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with your ready friends was the video really useful let me know in the comment section thank you so much guys see you in the next video thank you